Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are solving different multiple choice questions from physics and maths. And right now we are going to tackle the topic of linear algebra. And the question is which matrix of the following matrices is in row canonical or reduced form? Now in order to solve this question, you can recall that in previous episodes we have looked at de in detail at the row canonical form and row reduced form for matrix. We, one of the applications for that is solving linear systems of equations and we have solved some equations. We have also looked at the properties and we know now that all the zeros have to be at the bottom, all the zero rows, that means the rows containing only zeros should be at the bottom of the matrix. The first non-zero entry in each row has to be to the right of the leading entry in the row above it and it has to be equal to 1. Also all the elements below and above the leading entry have to be 0. So these, these are the characteristics. So keeping them in mind we need to find a matrix which is following all these characteristics. So now if you go back to the question well B when you look at option B here itself you can see that this cannot be a uh, in row canonical form because the zero row is somewhere in between it's not below so b option b is ruled out what about option a in option a you would see that all the entries in the third column the first entry is 5 now we know here that the column containing the leading element here one is the leading element for row 2 has to contain so all the column has to contain all other entries to be 0 and here it's a non-zero entry so even option A is ruled out what about option C again you have the similar logic here that if in row 2 1 is the leading entry then the entry above that has to be 0 which is not the case here and lastly we have in fact the answer Actually, this is a two seconds question because a unit matrix is always a row canonical matrix or rather it's a matrix in row canonical or reduced form. So actually when you see such kind of a question, you should first look at all the options and if you see the correct answer right there, you can just mark it and quickly verify about the other ones. So that's why this question was there. The answer, the answer is actually very simple, but you should also know when a matrix is not in row canonical or reduced form so that is the reason you had we had a look at the other options so we'll continue with some interesting mcqs in our upcoming episodes thank you